Hello, my sewing friends. Here is my frugal frocks reveal. I'm Jen and this is the sewing room where the frugal frocks got made for the frugal frocks 2021 challenge hosted on Instagram by Sam at Frugalissima and Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. This challenge was wildly popular and so much fun because basically you just took something, you know, stuff you already had and makes it, made something really pretty out of it. So uh, do check out the hashtag because there are a lot of really pretty dresses on, you know, in the whole collection of probably, I think 600 people did this. Yeah, lots. So um, basically you took a free pattern that you sourced from somewhere and then you took fabric from your stash and or that you had around and you made something. And so I had already decided what I was going to make. I had an idea in my mind and I thought, oh yeah, this challenge is perfect for that. But when it came to my turn to talk about ideas for this challenge, I talked about beach cover-ups. So I felt like I needed to make a beach cover-up too. <laughs> so I made two things. So let me tell you about what I made. I made the wide strap maxi dress from Peppermint Magazine designed by Lauren Boyle from LB Textiles. I had already decided on that, like I said, and you know, so many people made this dress and it's because it's a great dress, really great dress. It is very reminiscent of, actually it's just almost exactly like, to be honest, Simplicity 7454, which is a vintage pattern from 1976. And that's what this is. I made this a while ago out of a pink um, lightweight denim and it differs from the wide strap maxi in that the straps in the back cross and this pulls together with a drawstring rather than the elastic that the um, wide strap maxi pulls together with. And the pockets are on the outside. Uh, you top stitch them down on the outside, whereas on the wide strap maxi, the pockets are actually on the inside. Uh, so I um, knew what I wanted to use, and it's an old shower curtain with embroidery all down the front. Gorgeous, gorgeous design. I don't know where I got this shower curtain. I think probably I bought it and like a few houses ago. But it's the kind of thing that once I didn't use it as a shower curtain anymore, I thought I am not donating that because you know how we are as creative people and people who sew, we look at something like that and we think, oh my gosh, I could make something gorgeous out of that. Well, I knew that whatever it was I was gonna make needed to have a big canvas and this dress was perfect for it. So um, it was easy to put together. The pockets kind of threw me a little bit because I don't know what it is about pockets from Australia and the way they do them. They just didn't make any sense to me, those instructions. But to be honest, I kind of threw the instructions right out the window anyway because it was an easy enough thing to do and I had done this one. So I thought, all right, you know, I'll just go with it and decide what I want to do on my own, you know, my own way. I, uh, I did use a lining for the pockets and I wasn't going to top stitch them down. I was going to leave them loose, but uh, I realized that the white stitching, because it's on white fabric, I thought that's going to be okay because it won't really show. I thought it was going to detract from the design on the front of the dress, but it didn't. It was fine. So it was easy to put together. I messed up on the facing, so I ended up using some scraps of another fabric that was very, very similar because I had to really Tetris the whole thing out with the way that the design was and where I wanted it to fall on the front of the dress. But other than that, really easy and it's much lighter weight than this dress is. So that's going to be great for summer because it's just, it's just such a pretty dress, really such a pretty dress. So I'm really glad I made that and I like that pattern a lot and I can recommend it. <laughs> I think it's easy, easy for a beginner and you can hack the thing six ways to Sunday. I will put a link down below um, to Peppermint Magazine's article where they talk about hacks that you can 
do with the wide strap maxi dress and there are a lot of them okay so that's the wide strap maxi the other thing i was going to make was a beach cover-up i talked about several beach cover-ups a couple were downloadable patterns and several more i don't know probably two or three more were um uh just you know measure and do it that way a lot of them were caftans essentially because if you look at beach cover-ups in shops that's essentially what they are they're just a very loose fitting kind of a caftan well there's one from victoria's secret and i had made these before for my girls and i thought well, i like that one and i have this coral chiffon this stuff's almost orange and I went around and was doing a rolled hem because I got a new serger and I thought, oh, this is perfect. So I did this rolled hem and the when I went around the curves, this has some curves on it, and the curves essentially hit the bias and the actual the rolled hem was working great, but it would pull away from the fabric because it would fray and I couldn't get it to grab all the way around. It was turning into a mess. So I just decided to do a regular four thread serger stitch, but really close together. So it made it, you know, more of a, a like a, more like a rolled hem. And then I got this bright idea to do it with uh, contrasting thread, which I don't like. <laughs> and I thought I cut enough of this to make this um, little beach cover up and I didn't somehow. I don't know what I did wrong, but it didn't work. I went to kind of a lot of trouble to do a bias um, bound armhole and that looks terrible. <laughs> and so, yeah, this was just pretty much of a fail. Yeah, so tossed that aside and I thought, oh, maybe I can do it out of this. This is a sarong that I have from um, a bikini from Victoria's Secret that I got probably 35 years ago and I've had the fabric ever since and I've always you know I've occasionally worn it as a sarong around my waist or something but um, yeah I've never really done anything with it and I thought oh maybe that'll work but there's not it, it's not wide enough to go around my body the way it would need to so that was out and then I had this um, remnants of a maxi dress that I had taken apart some time ago and I thought well maybe I can do a column dress with um, just off the shoulder with a wide ruffle around the top and so I cut the armholes for that and I decided oh you know I'll just put the ruffle on and it's not really wide enough <laughs> I mean I got it on and it was like I can't move my arms and I thought well no that didn't work so that was out and then I had this uh, fabric that I thought maybe I would use as a contrast for that, and no. And then I had this, which I'm wearing now. And I had enough of it left over that I could piece together the scraps, and I thought, well, okay, with this one, what I'll do is I'll take the ruffle that would normally go around here, and the idea here is that you put elastic around to kind of gather it in. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll make enough of a ruffle that I can gather it and stitch it down and then I'll put the elastic in. Oh, huh, great idea, right? Yeah, no, because <laughs> the elastic kept wanted to kept wanting to roll to the, you know, outside and it just was such a mess and I thought, "All right, nope. That's not going to work." Had some leftover black fabric that I was going to put with the other black one. No, that didn't work either and these are just more scraps. So, in the end, I ended up getting into my stash and I pulled out some crinkle rayon that I had and I made the trapeze tank which I will link below which was one of the patterns that I had listed and talked about in my um, ideas video so um, because I made it with a crinkle rayon crinkle rayon has some give and some stretch and I knew it would have amount the right amount of drape but I uh, didn't know if it would fit like a knit would, like it wouldn't have the give that a knit would have. So I made a size large and that was fine. And then I chose to use bias tape around the neckline and the armhole edges. And I decided to uh, feature it, put it on the outside. And so, because I was using uh, 
double fold bias tape. It's a little bit wider. It's about an inch wide, which is fine. Um, and I got it on and I like it a lot. I, in fact, wore it to the pool today, which is why I'm not holding it up because this is in the laundry. But um, it's a trapeze tank. And so I couldn't get the hem to fall right, which of course I couldn't because that fabric, <laughs> that fabric is like chiffon for me. It's like my two least favorite fabrics in the world are chiffon and that crinkle rayon. And so it kind of fell so that it was a bit of a handkerchief hem. And I thought I should just leave it like that. And I probably should have, but I really wanted it to be even. So, um, with that kind of a situation where you've got a trapeze tank, which is basically a triangle shape, your your side seams have to be much shorter to accommodate for the way that the dress is gonna fall because it, it's gonna go like this. And so in order for these edges, they can't be the same. Um, you can't just draw a straight triangle. I mean, it needs to be curved in. And these have to be much shorter so that when they fall, it's like this. And then your hem is more straight across. So had to fiddle with that a little bit. And then I, you know, I got to the point where I just didn't care because I thought this is a beach cover up. I'm just going to throw it on and go to the beach or go to the, the uh, pool. So, um, you know, I made it more complicated than it had to be, but then I thought, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to overthink this. So I just put a little narrow hem on the bottom and that was it. And it was a really easy pattern and um, I would recommend it. It's a download PDF and um, I would like to make that again in a knit because the photos of it in the article where it's um, advertised is just so pretty. It's just so pretty. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I might make that again or I might just dig out a pattern that I already have and use that. But it ended up turning out pretty well and it's perfect for throwing over a swimsuit and just you know out the door and you're good and go to the beach go to the pool whatever you need to do and then um when even when i was have been wet i just throw it on and i don't look wet i could actually throw it on with a pair of flip-flops and just go to lunch if i wanted to so if i were on vacation i might do that as it is i just go to the pool i went to the pool today and i put it on and then i put it on to go home so um, easy make, easy dress, and you know, I'm not sure you could have gone wrong with uh, beach cover up. So. so those were my two frugal frocks. If you made a frugal frock and it was a beach cover up, then let me know, I would love to see it. I will search through the hashtag over on Instagram and just have a look. And if you would like to know more about the beach cover-ups that I talked about in my video, it's right here. And all you do, need to do is click on that and go investigate all those things. And I think that's it for now for me. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.